Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Griffin and I'm a filmmaker based out of Orange County, California. And today I want to bring you five quick tips for staying organized on set. So jumping right into it, tip number one, this is a pretty simple one and most people already know this, but you want to label all your gear. I found these labels off this website called moo.com. They're pretty cool, they're really small and they come in these little sticker books and they're pretty cheap. I think they're maybe like 15 bucks for the sticker pack. And I don't even know exactly how many it comes with, but I'll put it on the screen right here. These are great because you can put them on literally everything. I put them on my microphones, I put them on my cameras, lenses, and I would prefer getting the ones in black because it's a little bit more subtle. And you can put your name, you can put your company logo on there if you want. Uh, and they're actually all customizable too. So this is a really nice thing and it becomes more and more important if you start working on a set with more people. So a lot of times I'll be working with other camera operators that for example, have the same cameras as me or the same lenses as me. Uh, and that's kind of one of the things you look for typically is you wanna make sure people have the same gear so you can match your cameras easily. But what happens oftentimes that I notice is at the end of the day, you're like, wait, is that your 24 to 70 or is that mine? So you definitely wanna avoid going home with somebody else's gear. So that's one way that will really help you out on set. Okay, tip number two. So this is a new one for me. I actually just implemented this system in my workflow. But what I did is I color coded all my kits. I bought this cheap electrical tape off Amazon and I think it came with like 10 different color variants. And what I did is every kit that I have, so for example, my lighting kit with my 300D Mark II and my tripod, uh, I labeled the whole thing. So that's the red kit, everything in there is red. And I've got my blue kit, that's like the Aperture 120D and my smaller tripod. And then I've got my camera kit, which is silver and so on and so forth. And the cool thing about it is at the end of the day, when it comes time to break down your set, if you have somebody else helping you out, you can just tell them, hey, why don't you grab everything that goes in the blue kit? You'll notice it because there's blue electrical tape on every single cable, every light, every soft box. It all has a piece of blue tape on it. So just go grab all that stuff. And you see that Pelican over there with the blue tape on it as well. You can just pack it all in there. And then a little bonus tip is you can actually take a picture of what the case looks like when it's fully packed and that way it shows the person packing the case of what it's supposed to look like. And you can also put a little inventory list. So if you just list out every single item that goes in there, instead of having to ask you, hey, is everything already in the case yet? Uh, or did I forget anything? You can just have them run through. Okay, well, hey, look, there's 15 things there. Why don't you run through and just quickly double check and make sure everything's there. And then once it's, once it's there, then you know you have everything and you don't wind up leaving anything on set. Okay, so tip number three is storing your batteries. One thing that I like to do is I'll store all my batteries in these little think tank pouches. I've got one for my Sony NPF batteries. I've got one for my Canon 1DX batteries. I've got one for my BPA 60s. And it's a really nice way to know anything that's in the bag is fully charged. If it's outside the, the bag, that means it's dead. This is a really nice way too. At the end of the day, once I'm done shooting, I know anything that's outside of the bag goes straight on the charging station and anything that's still in the bag, that means it's fully charged. I probably didn't use the battery that day, so it can just stay in there. This is a nice way to be a little more efficient on set too. Uh, it can save you a little bit of time or save you a little bit of embarrassment. If you know, you're the reason they have to stop the take and you need to swap a battery and you're going over, you're looking through your bag like, hey, is this thing charged? Oh my gosh, no, this one's dead. Okay, let me go check the other one. Oh, that one's dead too. And then they're kind of looking at you like, dude, like, are you ready to roll? Come on and it's, it's definitely gonna save you a little bit of a headache if you have a system developed. Okay, so tip number four is labeling your media. I would highly suggest picking up one of these little cases. This one's kind of old and janky looking, but this is a little Pelican case. These are really cool for storing your media. And what you can do is you store all the media in there, and when it looks like this, when it's facing up and there's no red tape on it, that means it's ready to rock and roll. You can grab it, you can stick it in the camera, and you can format it. And when it's facing down like these cards, that means that the media is full. And then if you pull it off, there's probably the red tape from whatever camera you were shooting with. So I take the red tape off the camera and I stick it directly on here. And that's how I know that card is hot, so to speak. That means that it needs to go directly to the computer and offload all that media and get it backed up right away. Okay, last tip, tip number five. This is staging all your gear on set. This is kind of an important one. Um, once you get to set, you'll want to kind of stay organized. And the first step in that is how you stage all your gear. Typically what I do when I, when I get to set is I'll walk in without any of my stuff. I'll just look around. I'm going to look around and find the very best place before I bring anything with me. I want to know where the very best place is that I can set all my gear up 
where it's not gonna be in the way, no one's gonna be tripping over it, it's not gonna be blocking it in the hallways, it's not gonna be blocking the restroom, for example, but it can be out of the way and I can have my own section where I can organize everything and put all my cases in order. When I store my cases, they're either all the way open or all the way closed. This is, sounds like a small thing or like a OCD thing, but it's definitely not. Uh, the reason I do that is if they're all the way open, you can see everything that's in there and you know, anybody knows, that it be it an assistant, you, if you're sort of in a hurry, that it's all the way open. What I never wanna do is close the case, but not lock the case. Because what can happen sometimes is somebody might come and they're in a hurry or they're trying to be helpful, they're trying to help you clean up and they grab the case and they pick the whole thing up and everything goes dumping out of there. Um, you know, it's embarrassing if it's just your normal stuff, but if it's like a lens, for example, that could be a really costly mistake. That's why it's either all the way open or all the way closed for me. Another little bonus tip, uh, if you happen to have a cart, um, one I use is an innovative cart. It's a little more on the pricey side, but it's a really cool way to basically get on set and have a dedicated space for all your stuff to sit. You can basically build your cameras up top. You can put all your batteries, all your media, everything stays organized there. Down below, you can stick your uh, camera bags once they're unloaded. And what's really cool about that too is people know that's not like a table that you're gonna sit at and have coffee. That's a dedicated workspace. So what I find from people on set, it's a little easier for them to distinguish like, okay, this is like the camera workstation and I know not to really mess with any of the stuff that's over there. So anyways, guys, uh, that's definitely not the only ways to stay organized on set. Everybody has different workflows, everybody has different methods. So I'd love to know what some of your favorite ways to stay organized are on set. Anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like this kind of video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.